This week, we explore more of Phuket's stunning beaches and activities with our talents, Louis, Nadia, Paul and Tika. We take the advice from the South Africans we met last time and get the best the island has to offer in shopping, bars, restaurants and nightlife. Then we go off to Grit to explore rural Phuket, beyond the tourist areas, and hop on a long tailboat to one of the surrounding islands. Join us! Island is home to many high-end seaside resorts, spas and restaurants. Patong, the main town, is by far the most popular tourist hub and nearly everything happens around Patong Beach and Bangla Road. It has a casual holiday vibe, by day offering shopping and food and at night some of the best parties in the world. The beaches around Patong, Karon and Kata are fantastic, but should you feel unsatisfied, some of the most splendid beaches is only a boat ride away. Tell us, Louis, where are we now? This is Suren Beach, just about uh, 8 kilometers from, um, or 12 kilometers from Patong. Mm -hmm. um, this is the king and the queen's favorite beach. The Thais, they love their king. To them, he's the most important person in their lives and, yeah. and everyone loves him. And um, yeah, what he says goes. People come here and they just lie on the beach, they enjoy it. The hotel's all just at the back here. Yeah. So this is, yeah, this is for, for the one that will be a little bit off the beaten track. This yeah. is the best place to go. And it's a clean beach. Yeah. There's not a lot of wastage here and it's safe to swim. The, the main tourist season in Thailand is obviously from the end of, of October yeah. through November, December, January and February. And they're after sort of tapering off. Yeah. And then a little bit of pickup again in, in um, April with sun cream coming, yeah. but those, yeah, that five months of the year is, is the big season for the Thais. You know, the Thais have got a thing that they say is my pen rai, yeah. or sabai sabai. Yeah. It's don't worry, it's like hukuna matata. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Very what, good. What, yeah. you know there's, there's no rush, when it happens, it happens. Yeah. If it don't happen today, it will happen tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. That's just the way the Thais live. What is that thing you said Buddha about Buddha? Buddha said tomorrow. Yeah, Buddha said, you know, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry after itself. Yeah. Today is important. You live today. Yeah. If you live tomorrow, then it will look after itself. Lui takes us off the beaten track and drives us around rural Phuket, showing us some of the lesser known beaches on the island. The beaches here yeah, is, is wonderful, especially um, the smaller beaches, not the mainstream beaches. I like the small beaches like Kalima, right to the corner where I showed you this morning. Um, like Liam Singh, Freedom Beach, Nai Han, um, uh, Liam Prom. It's nice beaches. It's, and even the one we on the way now, uh, Banana Beach in Nai Thon. It's very pretty beaches. Um, obviously, you need to go to the islands. So you want to go and do some diving, like to PP and the Similan Islands. And um, you have to go to uh, James Bond. And then that little floating village, the floating Muslim village called Kopanyi. It's nice places to go. This is this is the the, the Asian water buffalo. Um, they are the, the ties to them. They they they're very important. I don't know if they're sacred. I, I don't think they're sacred, but to them it's like really the, the animal to have. It's a work animal. Yeah, it's a work animal. But I don't. I haven't seen them. That they use them again or yeah for plowing. But I know they do. But this is, this is such beautiful animals. Although Thailand's major source of income is directly linked to tourism, the rural areas still generate their income from rubber tapping and growing rice. The one thing about these places is there's very, a lot of snakes in here. King cobras. The other day they got one in uh, Shalong. 
a four and a half meter king cobra. Oh no. Do you know whether there's many deaths here caused by snakes? Uh, not really. <laughs> I read an article the other day on Thai Visa of a guy that was farming in Shan, Shan Nau, and uh, he was sleeping in his hut in the, the, the plantation mm -hmm. and he felt a snake coming into his bed and then the snake bite him, bit him. Mm -hmm. uh, he grabbed a piece of wood, killed the snake, got into his motorbike, put the snake in a bag, drove to his mother, asked her for money to go to the doctor, drove all the way to the hospital, gave him the snake. For the anti-venom. An anti-venom, and he's still in hospital very, in a critical moment, yeah. but he's still alive. Oh dear. And what do you do in, in case you, you have a snake, or who do you call? Do you call the fire department? Do you Ghost call the busters. snake? The <laughs> who are you going to call? <laughs> snake buster. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We will they probably say. <laughs> <laughs> Louis invites us for a braai at his place, where we meet some more South Africans living in Phuket. Paul and Nadia completed their TEFL course at Louis' school, and they are now both teaching in local schools in Phuket. Well, my name is Paul, this is Nadia. Uh, we are from South Africa. Um, we met quite a long time ago back in school, and since then we've just been best friends and, and more than that. And uh, we've just decided to uh, come to Thailand a while ago, um, we've been here for about two months, three months, three months and um, it's really been an amazing experience so far. Yeah, uh, we were staying in Stellenbosch uh, for about a year. I went, uh, finished school there and um, yeah, so the whole Thailand thing came up and we decided, well, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. We want to travel, we, so we're busy studying to UNISA as well. So we thought, why we're already working and studying, so we might as well just do it overseas anyway. Exactly. And yeah, and then we, we've, like you said, we've been in Thailand since January. And um, it's been an experience. It's really a great experience, I must say. Um, learned a lot. Yeah, I would tell other people to, to come out to Thailand, you know, at least just to see it. Uh, because the, the Thai culture is, is so different to what we are used to in South Africa, you know. Yeah, the wallet fell out my pocket and uh, got left on the back seat of the taxi. And the um, taxi driver came back all the way from halfway down uh, Phuket, came all the way back. Um, before they gave, the, well, they gave the wallet to me and before they left they sort of made me check. And I said to them, well, I trust you, don't worry, like I'm sure everything is still there and the woman made me open my own wallet and make sure that all my money is there mm -hmm. just to prove to that to me that they didn't steal anything and it was amazing you know and they did this all with smiles all of them just smiles all the way use the spray gun in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> what You'll just trust me. <laughs> you'll know. You'll you'll know. You'll Once get it. you've used it and you you don't have the opportunity to use it again, and you see how different it is. You like when we go home one day or wherever we settle, we already decided there will be a spray gun in that bathroom installed. Well, the biggest thing for her, I think, was spur. Um, you know, like the the little spur specials on Mondays. You know, she misses those. <laughs> Um, and I constantly hear, oh, you know what would be nice now, <laughs> a spur burger. Um, some things, you know, specific products, the right mayonnaise, you know, yeah. you need your, your cross and black, uh, cross and black all the way. No, nothing else. Nothing, nothing else. better. You need your, your Mrs. Ball's chutney, um, you know, and those kind of things, your Wellington sweet chili sauce. And those are all just sauces. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I like my sauces. The biggest thing that gets you in the beginning is the food. Yeah. The, um, so just the, like we always say, if your stomach is unhappy, then you're just unhappy. So you get here, nothing tastes the same, nothing looks the same. You wonder, like, is the meat safe here? You know, all those things run through your head. But then you get to know the products and you get to know, oh, you know what, sweet and sour pork, that's actually amazing, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so with each day that passes, you miss things from home less because um, you find other things that kind of fill the gap. Well, his parents are in the Middle East. They work yeah. in the Middle East and his sister's in America. So we kind of, his side of the family is kind of far spread. 
Um, but yeah, I have parents back at home, brothers. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. You know, miss you. Come visit. Come visit. Yeah. Come visit anytime. Anytime. Always Just not welcome. now. You guys will not. <laughs> okay, I come originally from Belcom. Um, I've been 18 years businessman and uh, got at a place in my life where um, I decided it's all enough. Uh, having too much staff and that, I cut it. And uh, now I'm in Thailand and uh, enjoying the life here. How long have you been here? Um, I've been here for three months, went home for a month and a half, and now I'm back here for a year. I work in Bangla Road. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a different totally eye-opener lifestyle that's happening there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working in one of the, the bigger clubs in, in Bangla, mm -hmm. White Room. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of money spenders that come there and uh, yeah, it's <laughs> you can, I can just laugh when I'm there. Mm -hmm. um, bouncing there is is I'll stand there and I'll watch people and I think some of them think I'm crazy because I'll just burst out laughing at stuff that people do mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, I've been all over the world and um, I just fell in love with Thailand. It's, um, it, uh, it's, it's calming, it's, there's no stress here. Um, that's why I've been here. Um, at home there's too much stress for me. Uh, and that's why at my age of my life and all my businesses, the stress just became too much. Everybody's friendly. Um, you get your unfriendly people, but the biggest part of it is it's enjoyable. The people, the lifestyle, the everybody's just enjoying life here. And tomorrow's another day. Um, not everything needs to happen today. Oh, I'd just like to say hi to my parents and my family on that side to say I'm loving life on this side. Uh, it's, it's definitely better for me here than at home. And uh, yeah, but I'll come visit. Whoa! Thailand has always been a popular holiday destination for South Africans. Despite the tough exchange rate, it remains one of the more affordable island holidays you can have. For tips on a more cost-effective Thailand holiday, read our A to Z of Travelling Thailand blog on our website. In the meantime, here is a breakdown of our budget for five nights in Phuket. We are off to Bangkok next week and our talents treat us with a trip to the floating markets, fancy cocktails at the Sky Bar, temples and of course Koh San Road. We see no less than 1600 pandas at one of Bangkok's biggest malls. We hope to see you there too.